Hello, my beautiful people. My name is Kristen. Thank you for stopping by my channel. These are my very informal coffee chats, although it is Wednesday. I just got back from Tropical Smoothie, and they have breakfast, y'all. They do. It, they're really, really good wraps and smoothies. I meet there with my teenagers. Most of them have digital school on Wednesday, so it's convenient. A couple of them have to be in person, so we have to meet pretty early at 7 a.m., which is right when they open. So we're all in our car with the heaters on waiting for them to open. And then I have to come home and get my coffee. So I'm almost done with it. I just have like an inch or half an inch even just left of my coffee and it's, I've got to drink it before it gets cool. But I have a couple things I want to share with you. So this may be my only, I think I'm just going to do this one vlog because I've kind of been saving up. I have my rocks box here and I really think this, I had like a six month promotion, but I think I'm just going to cancel it even before the six months is done because I just have so many cute jewelry and it's not like clothes. Like I, if I'm honest, I don't need any more clothes now. I've been doing the subscription boxes long enough that I've got a fantastic wardrobe, but I enjoy keep adding it. I find extreme joy in so many of the items that are unique or new or I just love them, but jewelry's not that way. Jewelry, I get, I think I get more attached and more sentimental to it. So, anyway, I'm going to look at this box. I'm going to wear it. I may or may not even keep anything from this box, and then I'm going to cancel. I'm going to cancel and then send it back. And if you do this, it is a monthly twenty-one dollars, and then you can wear it. You actually wear it, and you can purchase this if you want. But, um, you know, you don't have to, and, and it's a fun way to try stuff, right? Particularly if you don't want to own it, but you want to have a bunch of different ones. So I can't even remember what I told them to get. So here's a little ring. Where's the little card that says what the name is? <clears throat> I don't see the card. Here it is. <laughs> But first, jewelry. That's cute. The Yochi Designs Madden Ring in Gold, $48. So it's a, just a little wrap ring. I need to do my nails, y'all. But that's pretty. I do like that. I do like that. <sighs> yes. Let's see what else. So thank you all for commenting on my last coffee chat about all the mammograms and sonograms and echograms and all those kind of good things because I'm going to do it. So I have to be more mindful about my spending this month, which is another reason that I may not actually buy this stuff. I may just send it all back. So this is by Slate, the Hendrix Cuff. And it's $42. And I don't know if you can tell, but the top is more silver and the bottom is gold. And then it transitions on the cuff. So these cuffs are always super big, but if I own them, I will pinch and bend them. So that's really cute. And it's really cute with the ring too. Uh, yeah, 40 what is that? $42. So like if I kept this, then it would just be an additional $21. And this is the last thing, which is another ring. They, they did send me a brace, a uh, necklace that matched these two things. It was a Kendra Scott and it was pretty pricey and I knew I wasn't going to keep it. So I traded it out for this ring by Slate. It's the Pax ring in gold for $42. And it's like a little it's a little lion or maybe it's not a lion because it doesn't have a mane but it's it's definitely a big cat ring and I'm pretty sure it's the same size as this ring so so got a little bling and it kind of matches a little bit the little the little bitty owl necklace yeah that's pretty darn cute how much was it? 42 so I don't know. I'll wear I'll wear both the rings. I might get a ring. I don't think I'm going to get the bracelet. I've kept several bracelets lately and I don't want to I don't want to bend it. If I'm 
not mostly sure I'm going to be keeping it. So I'm just going to put this back. I don't think I'm even going to wear this. I do enjoy seeing this though. This is beautiful. And it's very versatile because it's gold and silver, right? So yes, there we go. I bought the Irish mug for my sister because that's her middle name and then sent a mug set to her family and they got them and really liked them. So this is from Belk, the department store. I get Clinique foundation. So if you are looking for a foundation, I can recommend this one Clinique even better. And I'll open it and show us. I don't wear a lot of foundation. I like this because it's basically a tinted sunscreen. It's got um, SPF 15 and it also kind of acts as a cover up as well. It's a liquid, has like a little tip. You can just put this on a sponge or just on your finger. And um, I just like the way it blends. And they do have a thing online where you can go on and see what shade you are. So just rub that into my hand. All right. But it had the gift with purchase. So you got this as your gift with purchase. So you spent $31 with Clinique. Did I get that in? And it's a cute bag. Let's see what goodies I have in here. So is this a, this is a take the day off makeup remover. So that's helpful. This is a seven day scrub cream. So cleansing cream. This is the strawberry fudge eyeshadow palette. Oh, that's cute. It's like a brown and a pink. It's like iridescent -y, so it's kind of going off the light. I think you can see though. That's a pretty good angle. That's pretty. That's gonna be really, really nice for spring. And I, I love the little tray. That's adorable. I got a eyeliner pencil. I think that looks like it's like a chocolate brown. I thought it was going to be black, but it's a nice chocolate brown. So I like that. Here's the lipstick. I do have on a little lipstick now, but. Ooh, ooh, y'all. That's gorgeous. I think if I use my viewfinder to <laughs> see. That is a beautiful berry color. Oh my gosh. And I really like the formula of that. I do have a Clinique lipstick, but it's in a square container. So I think it's a different formula than this one, maybe. I'll have to check this out because this one feels really, really moisturizing. And it is called the Plum Pop. Yeah, I like, I like berries and plum is good. And then the last thing is a little mascara, just a little trial mascara. What's this one called? The high impact mascara. So I'm going to open it because actually I need another mascara for my purse. So I'm going to put this one in my purse. So, yep, that goes in my purse because I just finished out another trial one that I had from Ipsy, but I haven't gotten any mascara in a little bit, so that will be really good. I think they go bad faster in my purse because you're just carrying your purse in and out of temperatures or something. I don't know. 
That's a good question if any of y'all know. If mascara like should be kept at a certain temperature. Not that I'm going to not keep it in my purse, but just it's good to know when to throw out your makeup or whatnot. And the foundation, it generally lasts this will last me about a year because I don't use it very much. And um, I use it some days just as a concealer on my darker spots. And then some days I use it all over. So yeah, I only have to buy it about once a year so I can wait for the gift with purchase. And that's where I bought the loungewear set so I could get the free shipping, which came last week. So I showed you all that. So those are my, those are my little fun things and I'm going to try to be more mindful about what I spend the rest of the month so that I can get the extra scan for my well woman and make sure everything is healthy and good and keep on with all my healthy habits. So I'm trying to drink more water. I'm trying to drink less alcohol and substitute in for some more herbal teas and special you know, other drinks. I drink a lot of my calories. I've discovered that's part of my problem as I sit here and drink a tropical smoothie, but this was part of my job, y'all. <laughs> and it's somewhat healthy, even though these things are packed with sugar. They're really not that healthy. <laughs> but they're very good. And, um, and keep on walking the dog and running. The thing is, is when I walk the dog, I feel like that's enough exercise or I'm tired or I've spent enough time doing that and then I don't find myself wanting to go back out and run the rest of the distance in the miles that really ideally I would like to so I'm struggling with that and um, I think I know what it is that I should be doing but I'm finding a struggle in the motivation of doing it and I thought about like doing an actual program a Weight Watchers or a new more um, Imitrex not Imitrex what's the that's the migraine medicine the the Isogenics I think that's what it is one of those health programs but um they're expensive and yeah again I'm trying to be frugal and use my money for the things that give me the most impact for my life kind of thing and and uh, I don't know, what do y'all, what do y'all do to be motivated? Can we just motivate each other here? Can I just have a little accountability and have y'all say, Kristen, just suck it up and do what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Quit drinking so many of your calories and get back out there, you know, take your dog and then go back out and do it for you. That's what I need. I just need a little accountability and push to get it done. So. We'll start today because it's supposed to snow tonight and it's harder when it's icy on the ground. I definitely can't run because of my ankle. I don't want to re-injure it, right? I'm always full of excuses, y'all. No more excuses. We're going to have a good day. We're going to get it done. I appreciate you stopping by. I will post this so you can see all my little goodies and give me some feedback what you think. And you have a blessed day. Happy Valentine's. I will see you all again soon.